All right, I want to take a minute to say what's up. Welcome back to more Atomic Cart. I've tried doing intros for like the last seven minutes, and I just can't speak today. So hopefully this goes smoothly. I played for about two or three hours, and I got a bunch of footage, and I'm kind of just piecing it all together now. So anyways, if you're excited for more of this game, just keep on like support. Love you all. Let's go ahead and get this. All right, game saved. All right, find the voice of the Motherland symbol and the sprout. Okay. It's going to be one of those things we got to go find a bunch of stuff, essentially. <laughs> Um, that's pretty cool. Man, the artwork in this game is top-notch. I think we're good on everything else. I want to inspect these every time I see them, but it's like they just take, like, too much time. It's like the way you move my cursor around, like, look at this. It's so slow. But I'll click on each one just for now. I like to go back and forth. And then it, like, shoots down as I'm just trying to, like, scan very slowly. <laughs> All right, uh... There we go. I got a hammer, all right. So we're just finding like, okay, so it's not too much stuff you have to do. Let me see. Yeah, I can't really run or anything, so when I get close to the uh, robot, it's kind of stopping me. All right. It's strange that the Tereshkova loves them, even though she's a robot. What? Flowers. Give her flowers. Is there a... Some robots are almost human. And some humans are almost robots. Well, we can't take these, so... Strange times we live in. Well, used to live in. I wonder if I have to give her something each time. Hold on, let's see. I got the hammer already. So... About this Darwin test. Yes! I am always happy to help, Major. Oh, wow, that's a lot of stuff. Uh, let's just go leave. Hold on. Oh, wait, what is this? Oh, no. That's the voice. Okay, now we're just going to sprout, which is this thing. Only issue is I do not know... We can't, like, collect it. I have no idea. Nothing else you can interact with in here except the corpse. But even that's kind of like... Man, I have a lot of ammo for the pistol. What in the world? Look at this. There's got to be something else I can do in this room. Oh, let me stand on this. There it is. Very simple. I like it. Well, we got everything, right? Oh, we gotta probably... Do have to do anything else? Working with children, let's see. Of course, she's like clipping in. Hold on, let's see. Am I supposed to do anything else like on... Yeah, hand the objects over. That's what I thought, but I didn't see an option. Maybe I gotta like do the dialogue first. So about the Yes! I am always happy to help, Major. Let's see. Here you go. Here it is. Here you go. This is as alive as it gets around here. Hear the springs, cheerful hymn. Be yourself, strive and earn. Life, I love you, and hope you love me in return. Gosh, shut your face, you dumbass toaster. I'm sorry. All this chaos is causing my emotional algorithms to malfunction. Uh, let's see. I might as well ask each one now, you know? Just watch your fingers. I'd rather not have to look for that multi-key again. 
The hammer, tool of working men. The sickle, peasant's friend. The many-pointed star they praise, and with their lives defend. <sighs> Put something cheerful on, would ya? It kinda feels like the end of the world right now. Radio of the future! Astonishing music generated by the state-of-the-art quantum supercomputer based on the preferences and tendencies of the modern performers. The theory of relativity claims these are the songs that the citizens of the future will be listening to. But the citizens of today are already listening to it. Doesn't that mean this is going to be the music of the past once we actually get there? And nobody's going to write it 30 years from now because it already exists. The music of the future could change every second. Well spotted! You have discovered a temporal paradox. How very observant you are. The music of the future shapes the music style in the present. However, the superposition of the observer and the information being perceived are located within a self-consistent loop. In layman's terms, we are always listening to the music of the future and determining what it is going to be like at the same time. Oh, shit. If that's layman's terms, I'd hate to hear the complicated explanation. I'm getting a fucking headache here. Pioneer Nichayev, you passed the Darwin test with flying colors. Tell me, what do you want to be when you grow up? A cosmonaut. What a splendid career choice. I would... Well, I rather enjoy your attention, Major. Now, how can I help you? Do you have a memory leak or something? I need to announce a drill and put the VDNH into drill mode. Unfortunately, this is beyond my ability. Are you yanking my fucking chain? But... I can provide you with a solution. You see, a single robot cannot engage the military drill mode. Such procedure requires the presence of two robots instead of one. So where do I find another obnoxious metal dipshit? Before that dreadful nightmare, the information hall was staffed by the two of us. But during the failure, the berserking robots took my partner, Claire, apart. Did they scatter her all over the complex or something? Precisely. How did you know, dear comrade? Call it a hunch. Do I have to scour the entire VDNH for her parts? Plug the administrative control drive into me, so I can tell you where the pieces of poor Claire currently are. Well, that sure beats looking for him blind. So where's the administrative control drive? I'm running out of time. Please follow me. All right, so I think the this whole robot she's talking about is the monsters. one we saw in the hallway. The robots must have completely lost their minds. Think we're good? We gotta follow her still. I gotta admit, the game over has a nice vibe to it. I don't think this is a polished experience as something like Bioshock was, but I think that they tried something new, and I respect that, you know? It's like Rise of the Machines out here. The game just kind of begins so fast, I kind of wish there was more time on the character. Uh, just more time about what's actually going on, other than like, hey, it's a malfunction with all the robots. Oh my, would you look at this? Helping lumberjacks and first responders is such a noble goal. But you, how do you use the arms our creators have given you? Like a primitive animal. Like a beast to crush and dismember. And this one! It just stands there buck naked as if nothing were wrong. Have you no shame, robot? Publicly exposing your iridium compactor. You do realize he didn't do it himself, right? Detroit become human. Oh my, that's a mess. And who, I wonder, will have to clean it up? I should dispatch the cleaners this instant. No, wait. It's the cleaners that did it. I'm so scatterbrained today. Hold on, I don't like this robot right here. 
Oh, like the mustache I envy freaks me out. You, humans. you can just pick up a razor and shave that horrible monstrous mustache off. But this one, you're not even a machine, you nitwit. You're just an imitation, a caricature, a piece of lab equipment. Pardon the outburst. It's just that one of them used to try to. Oh well, let's change the subject. There's a wide range of the lab tech models. The ones in black turned out to be especially vicious. They've been using their harmless built-in range-finding laser to pick off humans from a distance. How did it ever come to this? Just so you know, the black lab tech specialization is determined by the software package encoded within a specially constructed Kinetico Scholar Neurogel capsule. You can salvage this package from one of the defeated black lab techs, provided its capsule is still in one piece. What? I didn't understand a single thing you just said. You're an assistant, Tereshkova. Talk human. Shocking! You have no sense of decency. I gather you've already met Nora, the monstrous repair vendor who's subjecting humans to unimaginable deadly torture. It pains my algorithms to have to send you into her bloody clutches, but we have no choice. She's the only mechanism capable of utilizing this capsule to upgrade your weapons. Yeah, yeah, move your ass, Tereshkova. We're in a hurry. On my way, comrade! <gasps> Smells like something that should have been at the beginning of the game, kinda. You know? Like a tour of each type of thing. Oh, who's a good boy? Who's the sweetest, silliest, chubbiest little boy? You little goo. You don't attack people even when you're in combat mode. Because you're such a little sweetie, isn't that right? Aren't you precious? Here we are, comrade. The administrative control drive should be at this booth. Please establish the connection. That's it. Wait, this... Only try to be gentle, comrade major. I have very delicate internals. Oh, what just snapped? Relax, bot. That's my joints cracking. Does this look all right? Administrator level rights granted successfully. What now? I'm opening the door to the atrium for you. Search each of the complex's floor and find my dear Claire. I'll be in touch over the radio. As soon as you reach a floor, I'll scan it for my poor friend's parts. Most of her is on the ground floor. Please put her back together again. All right, here we go. Locate Claire wow, at the ground. Check this place out. It's like a palace. Talk about class. Let me just drink it all in. Attention. Man, a scale of this building is sick. Look at all that. It's a weird kind of vibe. I didn't mean to do that. Will it hit? That's actually kind of cool. Come on up the steps. Yeah, it's weird. It's like from a distance, some of the... Some of the robots just look like they're in different frames. You know? When they get close to you, they're... It's like it's back to normal, but from far away, it's almost like a... Slideshow kind of vibe. You know? All right, so that little section was pretty long. We had the puzzle, and we had the little tour guide going on. Thought it was nice, though. Nice little change of pace. All right, let's see what we can go in. What 
was that? Feel like a little shockwave to me. I don't know, like my reflexes kicked in there. <laughs> I love doing that. Supposed to go all the way down, but it looks like you can go to some of these rooms. At least I thought you could. Maybe later on we're going there. They got to be used eventually, right? All right. Let's go ahead and head back down. Or head not back down, but back down for the first time. Yeah, I like using this a lot because, granted, it goes through energy a lot more. It's almost like... It actually does a lot more damage, it feels like. I can kind of save on everything else. Oh, no. Get the laser robot down there. We got to fight him. I'm going to go to each floor and just, like... Take a look around, I guess. Appreciate all of you joining me on this series. I'm not sure how many more parts we got left, but... We'd like to finish the game. I'm enjoying it a lot. I've just been kind of playing it every couple days. I'll play for like two or three hours. Should be enough to take them out. Let's see. Oh, it's one of these. I love how every save room is like the exact same. Data. I'll check out my procedure. inventory really quick. Let's see what we got. We got a lot of stuff. Oh my goodness. That should be fine. I'll go ahead and save it as well. Data. I could recharge my energy with some of the other stuff. I'd rather not though. Let it be. We got more... AK ammo, that's funny. I think that's what that is. The AK. Alright, here's one. So it's kind of like the canisters from the other section of the game early on. Except I'm assuming... It won't be as difficult to get all of them, right? Gotta just be like... Okay. Just get chopped in half there. Hmm. I'm torn because... You can't aim in, really, because it's like... You do the other attack if you do that. Alright, we're going there. Okay, here's what I'm assuming, right? Let's look at each section. This would be a save area? No. Thought it was. It's gotta be a canister on each floor, probably. Wait, what was on the table right here? Oh no. Look who showed up. Takes care of that. It's, it's weird because I kept trying to do the triangle because this was next to it. It kept going to that instead. Which is kind of funny. We got a superconductor. Alright, here we go. Let me use this a little more too. Something tells me this is about to be a wild 
section once we get everything. We got some voice recording. Hold on. Don't worry, Dina. I'm actually glad they've got the Terrascovas giving tours now instead of us. We still get paid, and we get to take a nice vacation. Sounds good to me. My hubby and I are headed to Yalta to visit the family. I'm tired, you know? There are more and more tourists coming every day, even from Moscow. The adults ask question after question, and the kids? Ugh, they go nuts when they see all the gadgets here. Yesterday, two little boys almost fell into the polymer whale. Can you imagine? A lot of things fall into that whale, actually. Yevgeny, the janitor, says you can find all kinds of stuff in there. She said well. Like, like a well of something. Like W-E-L-L, -L, but it was spelled well like a ocean well. <laughs> I don't know, it's weird. Unless it was that, I don't know. Alright, nice little update there. So now we can go in the other areas. We'll start down here and just work our way around. New scanning cycle. Module, limb, leg, left. Not found. <sighs> just great. So where am I even supposed to look? I swear on my cooling unit, these mustached perverts must have dragged her into the maintenance room. I'm on my way. I get that mustache going on too. Freaks me out every time I see him. I think we got everything in this room. So this is probably gonna branch out into several areas that are really huge, nice. I feel like. Until everybody got killed. It is a most tragic sight. One of those, okay. I just want like reminds me of like a science museum or something. I didn't reach, hold on. Go ahead and get this puzzle going. Uh oh. These are always weird to me. So, okay, we gotta get red on the other side, so we need to change this around right change that uh let's see so i gotta swap the other two no uh hold on am i not doing that hold on Should I do it the other way? Well, hold on, let's do this. So we gotta go... It's like I'm losing my mind over here. It's gotta be like this, but now I gotta switch them around. There it goes. Okay. <laughs> Yo, my brain was like... I was struggling for a minute. Brad.exe stopped working for there just for a brief moment. Oh no. Hey, this is new. You may need to apply spatial reasoning here. There's no may about it. These locks of yours are really something, you know that? Uh, what? I have to keep going back, I guess. Let's try this one more time. Yeah, it's like this type of stuff is really cool. I feel like they didn't have to have this section in the game, but they do anyways. Here we go. Hey, Charlie. Why couldn't they just put regular, more reliable locks everywhere? Like with codes and shit? I suspect it's because if they had, anyone who hacked the code would be able to open the locks without authorization. Yeah, but now anyone who solves the puzzles can get through. In other words... Pretty much anybody. 
The main character talks a lot more now than he did in the beginning of the game. Just to take care of this now, shall we? A shield. <laughs> Not sure what I'm supposed to do here. Take care of that, I guess. When in doubt, just lift them up. <laughs> I had no idea what to do there. That was the first one I've seen that has like an actual shield. I was like, that's actually kind of cool looking. All right, we got to rotate this, it looks like. Charles, what do the special neuro connectors from Sechenov's team look like? The special neuro connectors have the Greek letter gamma on them and are shaped like bracelets. They are worn on the right arm. Gamma? What happened to Beta? Or are those the fake connectors you told me about? The fake connectors do in fact have the letter Beta on them. But the beta connectors were real at first. Uh, I don't get it. The first experimental prototypes of the neuro connectors with discretionary authority were called beta connectors. There were only two of them, and Dr. Sechenov designed them to look like rings. So, what happened to them? After the necessary experiments were complete, Dr. Sechenov removed these rings from the list of special neuro connectors. Enhanced gamma models shaped like bracelets were then made for the scientists, one for each member of his team. Okay, there are only seven of those gamma connectors? For Vavilov, Karolyov, Kurchatov, Lebedev, Pavlov, Filomonenko, and Chelome? Indeed. I go over the spikes, I feel like. That's probably the one. Climbing that. Now let's rotate this around it one more time. This is pretty cool. I like this. It's like just different. Every time I play this game, I'm just kind of like caught off guard by how, I guess, unique everything is. It doesn't have to be like this, but it is. It is. I don't know. All right, let's climb this. Hopefully, it's as simple as just hopping up there. There we go. And we made it. That combination is so good because you don't really use anything, you know? It's like a free kill. Stops him from doing anything. There you go. Alright, got a dead end right there. Here we go. Oh, we're stuck in here now. Coming through. Okay. Might be time. I might be dead. Hill, hill. Last for it. Try the other one, I guess. Break the shield. Hold on. Alright, wasn't expecting to fight all those enemies at once. It was a little like claustrophobic, if you would. Like couldn't really do much. It's like as soon as you're thrown into the fight, it's already like, alright, I gotta be prepared. And I was not at all.
It would be terrible if I have to fight stuff here, too. <laughs> Class is in session. All right. Um, fourth time's a charm, maybe? This looks kind of promising. Will this actually move anything? I doubt it. Yeah, I didn't think so. Hmm. Man, I could go for some sushi right now. I'm so hungry. Um, let me go over here really quick. Nothing back here. Okay. Find a way to proceed is the current objective. Okay, I just saw something. I think we got to go to the one just before that. There was a yellow pipe. I think it was yellow. Seeing colors is not my uh, best thing. Yeah, see there's like a hole in that one. We have to, okay. That was it right there, I think. Kind of see, yeah, right in there. Okay, so, wait, we also have this door right here. Hold on. Wait a minute. It's like Inception out here, but everything's like tilted. Okay. This kind of looks like the beginning of the game with the pigs. It's just their goal right now. All right, let's do two times really quick and just like take a quick look. No doors. So that one had a door. Let me check the sides, just make sure. So it's definitely the next one. But we also have a door right here. So let me double check. But it's kind of blocked off. Okay, that's not the same thing. Never mind. Hmm. I like how this game went from a. Well, I don't know. It just went from like a, a Bioshock vibe to like Portal, like the drop of a hat. You know, <laughs> it's kind of cool. All right, this is the one that has. Oh, okay. I don't see. It's got to be the next one then, right? Maybe you. Oh, you gotta run through it. Maybe that's what you gotta do. Maybe you gotta like. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. So I'm assuming you can hop down through maybe, right? No? Yeah, I think that's what you have to do. So after you do like the three, that's when you have to like run for it. I think you have to actually go down before it like sprint now, you know? It wouldn't be that one. This is the one where we gotta run for it. Think I'm alright? Oh my god. <laughs> a puzzle within a puzzle. This one seems very easy to climb up, compared to all the other ones, at least. <laughs> and it looks like we got it. What was that noise? All right, nice. You Ooh. have reached the facility service rooms, Major. One of my dear Claire's legs is most certainly there. Yeah, the truth is out there, right? <laughs>